With an extensive educational background in biology, chemistry, and teaching, Dr. Laurel Walton is one of our newest OBGYNs, getting here in June of 2024. She went to the University of Osteopathic Medicine and Health Science, now called DMU, in Des Moines, Iowa, and her OBGYN residency was at Texas Tech and Thomas General Hospital. Dr. Walton joins us today to talk about her path in medicine, her passion for working in women's health care, and a bit about her life outside the office. This is Woodlawn Health Doc Talk, a podcast from Woodlawn Health. I'm Caitlin White. Dr. Walton, we are so glad to have you on the show today. Thanks for joining us. Well, thank you, Caitlin, for inviting me. So my first question here as we get to know a bit about you is when did you know that medicine would be your career path? Good question. I probably knew that I was going to go into the field of medicine probably at the age of 12. I love that. So why did you choose OBGYN then if you knew so early? Well, as I said, in sixth grade or around the age of 12, I was interested in medicine. I've always been fascinated with how things happen and the diversity of medicine and the field of OBGYN is quite large. I mean, we deal with anything from surgery, major cases to minor cases in the office. And then we have the wonderful, delightful episodes of seeing delivery of children, which I think is mm -hmm. a miracle of life. So for me, that's always been my passion and women's health has always been my passion. Absolutely. So you wake up, you're getting ready for your day. What do you love about what you do? What would you say? Oh, I love that every day I go to work and I deal with a multitude of patients with multitude of problems, some of which don't get asked or patients sometimes are fearful to ask questions that deal with what's wrong with them. So I try to help women understand a situation that they may come in with, what they can do and what can help with that problem. I don't get tired of getting awake in any time of the day to do a delivery because no delivery is the same. And every child is a delight to me. And it's always enjoyable for me to hand a child to a one teen parents. So my days are filled with enjoyment every day and I don't get bored with my job at all. That is so wonderful. I guess there's not many people who can say that, you know, <laughs> but it's great to hear the passion that you have about what you do and your field. Why did you choose to come to Woodlawn? I decided to come to Woodlawn after meeting the community and the personnel that work at the hospital. I had been working in a rural area before I came here. And prior to that, I had been in private practice for 29 and a half years. But when I came to the community, I actually interviewed at the hospital and then I decided I was going to go downtown or what you call downtown and just stop in a few shops and see what I could find out about the community. Everybody in this community, I'm sure you'll find exceptions. Everybody in the community and at the hospital was wonderful. My husband even commented and he usually doesn't comment too often, but he does travel with me when I go, you know, out to interview at hospitals or in the rural area. And I just love the community and the hospital, how everybody interacts together. And I didn't find anybody that was actually hateful. <laughs> love to hear that as well. Well, what would you say then is your favorite thing about working in rural health care? I love the rural health. I grew up in a town probably a little bigger than this in Nebraska. But, you know, in a small community hospital or rural hospital, everybody has to work together. If we don't work together, the hospital or the community doesn't continue to work in a productive manner. So I love rural areas because everybody in the hospital that's here working has to work together. Some of us have multiple hats. Like I tell people, if you needed somebody to come in, I may not know how to do that job, but I could assist you. But, you know, I think that's what you get in this community. Wonderful. And wrapping up here, what are some things that you like to do outside of work in your free time? I was just reading over your bio and you mentioned you have six lovable rescue cats. You're going to have to tell us about them as well. <laughs> I do love animals. When I was young, I used to think I could solve all their problems. I would used to 
used to put, you know, a splint on a cat's leg. Or I remember doing my dad's ingrown toenail. And if you would have saw the bandage <laughs> I put on it, it was ridiculous. But I've always loved animals and I had them from the time I was probably five. You know, we grew up with cats, dogs, rabbits, squirrels, raccoons. I had a pet squirrel. We had lizards, everything. So, you know, I grew up with animals and my husband loves animals. So we have six cats. When I married my husband, I had three dogs. He had three cats. They all are deceased. And now we have six rescue cats, all of which are wonderful. We, we call them our children. My outside time, I do spend time with my family, which is my husband and, and the six cats. And I love to go antique shopping, as I call it. I collect Eisenberg brooches from the 1900s. I love cranberry glass, older than the 1900s. I have probably over a thousand pieces of cranberry glass that I display or use. I love to teach other residents and physicians that are taking their oral boards in my field. I do that on the side, not for money-making propositions, but for the sheer pleasure of making sure I keep on my toes and then I can just, you know, outdo them on certain things. When they <laughs> think they know it all, I can turn around and say, you thought you did, but you don't. So I keep myself busy doing those things. I'm kind of interested in coins right now. My husband collects coins. He's a numinist, and I am getting interested in it, but not as fascinated with the history of coins as I am the fascination of the history of reproductive medicine and women. But it's a diversion to do something different. Do a little walking. I love swimming. Unfortunately, I don't have a pool, but I like to swim. And I spend time with immediate family and extended family. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for being on the show today, Dr. Walton, and thank you for coming to Woodlawn. Well, thank you for inviting me. Dr. Walton is accepting new patients. Please call 574-223-2020 to schedule an appointment. That's 574-223-2020. And if you found this podcast helpful, please share it with others. I'm Caitlin White. Thanks for listening to Woodlawn Health Doc Talk, a podcast from Woodlawn Health.